this is a HP laptop. It's from my repair shop, X360, the model 15-DF0069NR. So the laptop is already, is already a part. So the repair shop tried to replace the battery. You can see the battery condition. Got a new battery and uh, the computer doesn't want to power on. Yeah, as he said, the computer was turning on with the charger before. So I put the power supply at 19 volt. So when we plug the computer to the to the 19 volt, it's taking about 30 milliamp to the red wires. That's from the DC jack. Okay, we have 18 volt point four. We have two. MOSFET the other side of the board, the current sense resistor right here is mean this is the output of the two MOSFETs, must be this is the input, we have 18 volt, the output of these MOSFETs is a 18, 18, and the output is 18, then this side of this resistor is a AG. Then from there it's go everywhere to the board. Yeah, we can check in the in the EPROM for 3.3 volt. I see there is a EPROM right here. have 0.9 volt right here so we have another EPROM right here let's see what we have in this pen that's the pen number one this is the pen number five we have 3.3 you see a spot right here yeah there is some something getting warm right there Another spot, yeah, another spot right there. Must be that uh, super IO, the input output. So the other side, yeah, that spot is the same thing. something right here yeah, this one right here that's what's getting hot and let's see what's there This is our uh, adjusting voltage and the input is 17 volt. Must be this is the enable pin. Should be hot when the chip is on. And one of these ones is the output. So the output 1.2. This one 3.5. I'm not sure about that uh, 1.2 and 3.5. Now right, let me replace the chip. I'm gonna check it from another board and see if that's gonna fix the problem. Yeah, so I replaced the chip. Same one exactly. But still have the, the 30 uh, milliamp in the power supply. And still that chip getting hot, it's no change. Same voltage as well. One point two and three point five. So let's check that chip to see if if there is a shirt to the ground. 
Yeah, no search in the output. Yeah, no search there. And of course, there is no search in the. Because we have that 17. Yeah, there is no search. You check these MOSFETs around it. Uh, this is the the new battery and let me check the new battery why it's okay the voltage in the new battery is yeah the voltage in the new battery is 11 volt all right let's plug it all right so what's the voltage we have right now on the battery zero volt so the battery has a voltage but when I plug it to the board it's go to the zero volt and now the battery is a zero volt so basically the the battery management chip is detecting some short or something uh, high load from the board and disable the battery to enable the battery, just we need to give it some voltage between the negative and positive, around 11 volt, and the battery is going to be enabled again. Well, let's plug it to the 19 volt power supply again. And we are going to check. Uh, I don't see the, the charging circuit right here. And check the the power bar and voltage 1.6 so usually the power button is a 3.3 hmm. if you remember we had some the super IU it was showing it's getting a little bit warm it's not a hot but it's getting warm Right, let's check the, the voltage around the super IO. have no voltage around the super IO. We have 3.3 .3 right here. have 3.3 around right here. Uh, the technician when he was unplugging the, the power button to take the computer apart I think he damaged the... Uh, so that connector it's gone I just solder uh, the flex cable direct here. Yeah, definitely the computer is not charging the battery or does the computer turn on without the battery? This question. Was a connector similar to this one right here, but it's already damaged. Okay, so let's plug it. And it was was right here, 1.6. I'm gonna press the power button. Yeah, 
uh, you can see the voltage is dropping when I press the power button but uh, and the power supply yeah and the power supply is not gonna happen yeah I'm not sure what you do next so I don't see any uh, shirt or uh, I can give the voltage and the uh, and the battery connector and we'll see if there is anything different well, let's plug this one to the ground from the power supply let's lower the voltage to the something like the 4 volt or so so the red is in the middle so these four pins that's the positive side and it's taking one one amp you can see it over there well, let's get the camera thermal camera all right so let's I see something over there. It's right here, I think. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's the MOSFET. This MOSFET, I don't think it's the coil. It must be this MOSFET right here. Okay, let's. Yeah, the MOSFET. Hopefully that MOSFET is shirted. Yes, it is. 0 0.09. This, this is a double MOSFET. We have the gate and the source right here. And we have a gauge and the source right here. Yeah, it's shorted definitely. Completely shorted. The source and the gauge and the drain all shorted. 6996. Similar to that one. I see one right here. Six nine nine six. Okay, let's see. We have one four. There is no connection to the gate. Point three. this one so right here so let's seek it out and hopefully So between here and here, no shirt. Hmm. Let's see. 
So Okay, no sure to the gate. sure to hear no sure to hear oh, it's on stall it will see Still taking uh, 20, 20 million, 20, 30 million. Could be something normal. Okay, let's press the power button and see if there is any change. Yeah, we have light. And it taken 800 milliamp. That's good. Alright, let's, let's put the computer and the uh, in the housing and hopefully we can get it to power on. All right, let's test it. So it's taking about one amp. Still no display, but still booting. Will be because the BIOS is being reset. And still no display. Hmm. Seven hundred milliamp. Still going. I did see two two amps. Oh yeah, we have the picture. Yeah, it could be just the BIOS has been a reset. Alright, so next let's try this one. See if it's gonna charge the battery. Luggage. And which measure the voltage in the battery? Is a two amp? Twelve point three volt. Twelve 
12.42 so yeah the battery is charging and we have the orange light over there so this all for this video thank you for watching and see you again